Hey, sisters. We need to know what day one is about to be, okay? Because it's Jubilee in July, and I'm trying to just, I'm trying to just enjoy Jesus all July. So let's see what day one is going to be, so that we can start this journey off right. Here we go. All right. Ah! Day one on day one. Oh my God, it's about to go down. Day one, whatever. July. It is day one. It is July. It's a new journey. And yes, I'm here. July 4th, okay? I need to know who is marinating their chicken this morning, who getting the ribs ready, who getting the, uh, the hot dogs and the hamburgers ready, because I'm ready to eat, okay? After the nudge, I'm trying to see whose house I can come to to grab me a plate, okay? Um, actually, I, I actually need four plates for me. <laughs> Me, my kids, and my husband, okay? So sisters, let's enjoy this holiday. I'm not gonna hold you long, but I want us to start Jubilee in July just the right way. Um, I want you to know that when our dear Mama Nash declared it Jubilee for the sisters that this would be our Jubilee season, that hit me like a ton of bricks. And I've been studying um, Jubilee. I've been thinking about how it pertains to where we are uh, as a sisterhood as we take this journey moving into um, moving into new seasons moving into new opportunities doors opening for us leaping out into the deep what that means for us and when i think about how any day we could have spun, we spun day one, the whatever day. I think about the endless possibilities that God is presenting to us as his daughters to say, I want to do a new thing in the daughters. I want to do something new in you um, that, that you cannot even fathom. You never imagined that I would do. This is what I want for my daughters. And I believe that July is not only our jubilee, um, but it's God presenting a a new thing to us. We're walking in a new season. Uh, tell your sister, uh, it's your new season. I want you to prophetically declare that to her. It is your new season, new ideas, new mindsets, a new take, a new lease on life, um, new, new doors opening, new windows opening, new pathways being made for the daughters. God said, I am doing a new thing. When you think about Jubilee, it's all about a new new season. Yes, it is about that 50th year after 49 years have passed. Basically, God took Moses and his people through seven um, cycles of seven years. And at the end of that seventh cycle of seven years, which is year 49, he asked his people, he said, I want you um, at this year, <clears throat> don't till the land, don't do any work, just live off of the overflow. Y'all don't mess with me this morning, early this morning. I want you to live off of the overflow. I want you to live off of what the land produces on its own. And that 50th year will be a jubilee year, okay? And so when you think about claiming a season of jubilee in your life, it is a year um, that, that brings about I'm going to give you five things that come about in the Jubilee year. Y'all ready? I need you to get your pen and your pad early this morning on July 4th, okay? It brings about liberation. And I'm getting into uh, the, the scripture that I want to uh, give us a take on today. But it brings about <clears throat> liberation. Liberation, the act of setting someone free from imprisonment, slavery, or oppression. 
It brings about consolation. Y'all hear me this morning? Consolation, the comfort being received uh, for a, a, by a person after loss. So when God gives you comfort after any type of loss or disappointment, Jubilee is a season where you receive liberation, not only that, but confirmation. Here's another one, and release. Oh man, it's a season of release uh, where God releases you um, out of a season of a imprisonment or seemingly being tied up. It's a season of release. Here's the next one, a season of freedom. These are the words that, that embody what Jubilee is for us. And I want us to claim this in our lives in this season of Jubilee. It's a season of release, a season of freedom to set someone free from something. Good God Almighty. I'm claiming that in my life. A season of freedom, um, a season of emancipation. Lord have mercy. A season of liberation um, and deliverance. A season of redemption. Y'all, I'm clapping early this morning because I, I receive all of these things um, for my personal life. A season of redemption, um, a season of emancipation. This is what God is speaking over the lives of, of the daughters when he says Jubilee in July. It's a season where we are being released. It's a season of release. It's a season where every blockage, every hindrance, every obstacle has no choice but to move out of your your way to allow you to leap into better, to allow you to jump into better. And for those of us who missed the leap in June, baby, you still got time to leap in July. I decree and declare that there is a release happening throughout the entire sister circle in the month of July. I dare you to just put that in the chat this morning real big. I want you to put the word release, release. There will be a release of funds that were previously held up. There will be a release of blessings that were pre previously locked up. There will be a release of the overflow of God's favor and God's blessings in the lives of the daughters. Come on, put that in the chat. Release, release, release. And I decree and declare that everything that's been held up has got to be released in the month of July. I dare you, I dare you to give God praise this morning for a release in July in the household of the daughters and the sisters and the mothers and the aunties, all of us will experience release together. Do you believe that? Release. And when I thought about that, um, it took me right to old Lazarus, okay? Lazarus is somebody we have talked about uh, here and there, but I really need us to see how the release of Lazarus, uh, it, how it coincides with the release of the daughters um, in, in, in the month of July. John 11, 41 through 44. It says, so they took away the stone and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you hear me. And I knew that you heard me always. But because of the multitude that stands around, I said it that they may believe that thou didn't send me. Verse number 43. And when he had thus spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. Y'all know this story. Verse number 44. And he that was dead came forth, bound head and um, bound hand and foot with grave clothes, and his face was bound with a napkin. Jesus said unto them, loose him and let him go. Whoa, y'all, 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 y'all. I'm excited about this because it gives us a, a, a front row view into how Jesus Jesus has not only come in our lives um, to give us a resurrection. There is not only resurrection taking place, but God is also making sure that we are free from restriction. And many of us, um, we have experienced a resurrection in our prayer life. We have experienced a resurrection in our marriages. We have experienced resurrection in our health. We have experienced resurrection in different areas of our life because of our prayer time and because of our heightened um, uh, prayer time and fasting. We have experienced a resurrection. But hear me and hear me clearly. There is still something left that God wants to do. We cannot live a resurrection 
resurrected life, but still be restricted. And that's what we see with Lazarus. He was resurrected, but he was still restricted. The Bible says that he was bound hand and foot with grave clothes. And I want you to know that bondage is not how God wants us to live our life. The bondage of brokenness, the bondage of other people's opinions, the bondage of grief, help me Holy Spirit, the bondage of grief, grieving those that we have lost, grieving those um, that those relationships that we have lost, grieving the old way of life. God does want, doesn't want us to live um, a life bound to grief, bound um, to our own pride, bound to our own abusive behaviors, um, bound to um, our own selfishness, bound to all of the sins that hold us back from being who God called us to be. He wants us to live a life of release, a life of freedom. And this is what he said to Lazarus. Hear me and hear me clearly. He resurrected him, but he wanted to finish the work by taking the restrictions off. Woo -wee. He wanted to finish the work by loosing him from the limits, taking the limits off. And he pulled the layers back, not himself, but he called those that were around him and he said to them, loose him and let him go. Good God Almighty. He said to those that were around him, those that knew him, those that cared for him, those that uh, watched him die, those that watched him buried in the tomb, those that saw um, his demise. He said to those same ones, I want you to take your hands and loose him and let him go. And I need you to know sister this morning um, that any area of your life where you are feeling restricted um, where you feel like I can't take this leap I can't do more I can't be better I feel restricted I want you to know that there are some sisters on the live on July 4th this day the day of freedom um, that are getting ready to help you be loose hear me and hear me clearly you got some sisters that will take their hands and grab their hand with yours and pray with you so that you you can be free. July 4th ain't just about hot dogs, baby. It ain't just about a uh, hamburger, sis. It ain't just about sausage dogs and ribs. It ain't just about steaks on the grill. Hear me and hear me clearly. It is about freedom. And I decree and declare that July will be a month of release for us. That July will be a jubilee for, uh, for us. That July will be a month of freedom for us. That July uh, will be a month where we walk freely um, in this resurrected life where we are loose from every bit of grave clothes that have held us down. This is what the Lord wanted for Lazarus. He didn't want him to just be resurrected, but he wanted to make sure that he was no longer restricted. You wait, Matthew 8 and 18. It says, verily I say unto you, whatsoever you will bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. But here's where God gets good with us. But whatsoever you loose on earth, will be loosed in heaven. That's the key word. You got to loose it on earth first. No, oh, man. You got to think about the order in which he said that. He didn't say what was loosed in heaven would be loosed on earth. He said, first, you got to loose it on earth and then I'll loose it in heaven. And I know, I know you waiting on God to do this and that and the other. But he said, no, I'm waiting on you. I need you to loose it in earth first, then I'll loose it in heaven. And when it's loosed in heaven, it's a done deal deal and nobody can restrict it again. When it's loosed in heaven, um, it's a done deal and nobody can hold you back again. But I need you to open your mouth and loose it in the earth first. And here's the thing that God did with Lazarus. He made an exchange with him. He made an exchange of those grave clothes for freedom. He made an exchange of the napkin that bound his face and his mind for freedom. He made an exchange with him and he wants to make an exchange with you this morning sisters. He wants you to walk in new seasons. He wants you wearing um, new clothes. He wants you wearing new garments. He wants you walking in new ways. He wants you releasing old mindsets and walking in the new. Will you allow him to make this exchange? He wants to loose you and let you go. And I know, I know, I know, I know you think you ain't ready to go yet, but now it's ready, set, go. <laughs> 
loose you. He wants to loose you and let you go. And those are your three words this morning, sis. I know before you get on that grill, I need you to know that it's ready, set, go time. Ready, set, go. I want to loose you and I want to let you go. That's what he did for Lazarus and that's what he did for us. It's our Jubilee month, sisters, and we're getting ready to walk in release. We're getting ready to walk in freedom and nothing will hold us back. I want you to tell your sister that we get ready to pray. Tell her ready, set, go. You are ready. God has set um, this moment in time and it's time to go. Ready, set, go. Tell her that this morning. Ready, set, go. Father, we thank you this morning. We thank you because you are mighty. We thank you because you are all powerful. God, we thank you because you are all knowing. There is nothing that is hitting for, from you. There is nothing that is too difficult for you. There is nothing that is too hard for you. And so, Father, we thank you that you are our all knowing God. You are our all powerful God. You are our almighty God. And we give you praise this morning. Father, we thank you that your daughters are walking into a season of jubilee a season of release a season of consolation father a season of liberty father we thank you um, that we are no longer bound by the chains of sin and death but whom the son sets free is free indeed thank you for guaranteed freedom thank you father that we walk in it daily and the enemy can do nothing about it and so now we bind his hands we bind bind his tactics now in the name of Jesus. We bind his traps and his schemes now in Jesus name. You said Lord that when we bind it on earth heaven comes into agreement with us. And so we thank you Lord that heaven is in agreement with what the daughters are binding. But not only that Father, we thank you that heaven is in full agreement with what we loose. And so now under the power and the authority of the name of Jesus. We loose the daughters this morning. We loose them into new seasons. We loose them um, into new blessings. We loose them into a season of overflow. We decree and declare that as we loose it on earth, it is loosed in heaven. Thank you, Father, for freedom. Thank you for healing. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you, Father, that we move freely um, into new spaces and new places. Father, I thank you that the blessings of the Lord are making rich and adding no sorrow to the daughters. Father, I thank you that as we pray, Father, uh, not only are our prayers going up into heaven, but Father, they are going about and the angels are, 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 are releasing the prayers into action. Father, we thank you that we will see action uh, attached to our prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you that as we speak out your word, that it will not return void, but it will accomplish what you sent it out to do. And so today, Lord, we pray that this will begin our season of release. This will begin our season of jubilee. We walk in it freely and we walk in it unapologetically. In Jesus' name, we pray. Pray, amen, amen, and amen. Hear me. Ready, set, go. Baby, you got the green light, okay? It's time to go. You got the green light. Ready, set, go. I love you. Jubilee July is about to be buck. Wow, get ready. Tomorrow's day two, I need you to get up early in the morning with me and let's move into this seventh month like we never have before. Jubilee in July. I love you sisters, I'll see you tomorrow morning, bye. All right, day one was day one. Now let's see what day two is gonna be. It's Jubilee in July. All right, day two is day eight, new beginning. I'm excited about it. I'll see you in the morning, 6.30 a.m.